All right. I didn't want to admit defeat to a bunch of love bugs. They're still here. But I've decided to migrate over to this little new hangout here with the butterflies. Set up my little water display. And we're going to attempt to cook out here at this location. Um, there are still love bugs. Just not a million of them. Only a couple hundred. <laughs> Although, as I park here, I'm seeing more and more. It's like they're attracted to my car or something. Maybe I can't stay because when I first got here, there were no love bugs. But as soon as I got out and parked the vehicle, they're all swarming me. So they're starting to swarm the van. So I'm wondering if somehow they're attracted to the van. It's like love bugs, love cars. And what I'm afraid of is while I'm cooking, they're going to land on my food. I don't want to eat love bugs. Still debating if I want to do it here or continue on. I'm looking at the number of love bugs and it is increasing, not decreasing. So either the swarm is blowing through or somehow they manage to find me. They are attracted to um, the vehicle. And now there's a bee trying to get in. Yeah, it looks like they are trying to get in. What to do? I can start the fire and start cooking and hope for the best or leave this whole area completely. Those are my two choices. All right, I've decided that I've come too far and the sky is about to open up and rain again. I don't know if you can see the black clouds above. We're going to attempt to cook here despite the love bugs. We're going to ignore them and cook up our delicious pork steaks. This is pork shoulder butt blade steak. So the plan is to go ahead and start cooking despite all the craziness. We're going to try to get this uh, fire going here. I guess it's uh, burning. Once the fire is up, we're going to quickly toss our steak on there, our pork butt steak. We're not going to do too much. We're just going to simply toss it on there, pour on a little bit of soy sauce, kikkoman soy sauce here. Then, of course, sprinkle it with our body of complete and our chopped onion. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat it out here and do a mukbang, mukbang video out here because there are just love bugs everywhere. And the rain is about to fall. So we'll get this going. I'll toss it on the grill and uh, let you guys see what's going on with it. By the way, in case you are wondering, I am wearing my handy dandy <laughs> Mortal Kombat <laughs> hat. So maybe the smoke is chasing away the love bugs because uh, they seem to be disappearing as the fire is lit. Maybe they don't like fire. So that's a good thing. We'll go ahead and let it burn a little bit more. I'm going to throw in some more wood and then I'll, I'll put the steak on there and just start cooking it. The good news is I do have, as long as there's no snakes or anything in here. <laughs> you know, always got to watch out for snakes. A little natural sitting spot. Somebody had built a fire back there where there's grass and stuff, leaves. I don't want to do that. I, I open, you know, I put mine right out here at the, uh, the pavement so that there's... Uh, it's a bit safer than just putting it on an area that can catch on fire. But yeah, the smoke seems to be chasing away the love bugs. So maybe they don't like smoke. Because since I lit the fire, it seems like there's less of them. There's still a couple flying around, but not like before. So we'll go ahead and uh, toss some more wood in there. The wood is still a little bit wet from the, um, the rain earlier. You can even see the ground is still wet from the rain earlier. So... Hopefully this stuff catches on, and um, I'll figure out how we're gonna tilt that. I don't want the wind blowing right into it and blowing out the fire. Same time, I do want some wind. Go this way. The wind's coming this way, sort of. Looks like my fire burnt out. Yeah, 
my fire burnt out. I'm gonna have to add some more uh, paper if we can't get the fire going again. It's because the wood is wet. All right, we'll come back to round two of trying to start our fire here. Hopefully it will actually, I didn't put any oil in it this time, but hopefully we can get it actually burning. There we go. I put some uh, little branches in there, tinder. The hope is that those, those little sticks will actually burn and get the fire going long enough that the whole thing catches up and goes on fire. So we'll see what happens here. A lot of smoke. Not much fire. There we go. Getting some flames from those little those little ones. Alright, I think we got a fire going somewhat. Don't know how well it's going, but it's going. If you if I can put this piece in there. No, I can't. It's too long. Maybe diagonal piece. Maybe this piece can go in diagonal. Those little tenders are burning, but they'll burn out very quickly. I gotta try to get the fronds burning. It looks like it may be burning out right now. It's the problem with the, the little twigs. They burn out fast, but the fronds are wet. <laughs> figure out what to do here all right today's pork butt steak meal is really making me work hard for it the fire keeps burning out everything's wet I can hear thunder everything's about the, the rain's about to fall we've been dealing with the um, I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the distance there rain is about to open up and pour and I am trying to my hardest get a fire going here so hopefully this fire will burn I'm getting ready to toss the steak on there right now because the sky has been um, making noises grunting so I think I'm gonna go ahead and open up the, um, the pork butt steak and get ready to toss them on there despite the fire possibly going out because it looks like we are continually dealing with fire issue. It's like not burning this other part. Why it's not catching on? I can get the whole thing to catch on here. Having all sorts of fire issues today. It's craziness. Lots of smoke and flame. It's not enough oxygen. <sighs> Maybe I'll tilt it the other way and let the flames blow through. Flames are blowing right into the fire now. Should help it feed it some oxygen. So I am going to go ahead and try to toss the meat on there and um, let it start cooking because it's going to rain on me and I won't have access to my fire otherwise, potentially. One of the reasons for me opening up the steak right now to get ready to toss it onto this hot fire is because the steak has fat and the fat will kind of drip into it and help it to hopefully help it hopefully it doesn't put the fire out because of blocking the oxygen <laughs> that's a possibility also right through there. Get that oxygen, get the fire burning. I would toss the other one on here, but I want to make sure that the fire doesn't go out. So I don't want to completely block the, um, the oxygen that's hitting the flames right now. I'm going to go ahead and um, try to sprinkle some soy sauce on it. And hopefully it doesn't put it out. The soy sauce is water, basically. Pour 
a little bit on there. All right, and now to go ahead and add the other ingredients, I'm gonna put on some of our, looks like I have to open the, didn't open this, I'll have to open it up here, the chopped onions. All right, it's time to sprinkle some of our onions on there. And actually, this is the badia. <laughs> We got our badia on there, and we're gonna get some of our onions, onion flake. Brings out the smell and the taste of the pork butt. Looks like our fire is burning pretty well. I may flip this over. I might even add the other one. Listen to that sizzle. Nothing beats having pork butt steak cooked over an open fire. I'm gonna pour a little bit of soy sauce on this side. Mm, look at it soak right in. Some more body. And of course, I'm getting smoke all over my face. Of course, we also want chopped onions right onto there. Doesn't that look good? Mm -mm. Look at that food. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting super, super hungry looking at that. Uh, smoke's blowing on my eye! Okay. I would put the other piece on there right now, but I'm just afraid of the fire burning out. It doesn't seem to be really, really catching on. Now this pork butt steak is pretty thin, so it actually cooked up pretty fast. Smoke seems to be following me. Look at that. No matter where I walk, the smoke blows that way. I don't know if you can see the, the love bugs flying through the smoke. They like it. We're under attack, but it smells so good. up. So my fire is burning out. Yeah, I'm thinking the, oh, there's still some flames in there. The wood is just too wet or something. It's not catching, catching. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? You guys, this is looking really good to me. I am going to toss the second um, piece of meat on here while I still have a fire burning. Try not to totally block off the um, the air, the oxygen getting in there. Making lots and lots of smoke. We'll add some um, soy sauce to the steak. I know I'm wasting some. And of course, the chopped onions. Magical body are coming up here. Doesn't that look so good already? The other one's almost done. Probably is done. I'm almost out of body. We'll end up using all the body for this cooking episode here. Alright. Flip the meat.
piece they're wanting to fall in. And we will season this side. Add our magical badia. That's why I like using the badia. <laughs> you can see I pretty much do the same thing no matter what I'm cooking. And the food turns out really good. Onion. All right, looking good. Looking really good. Hear the airplane overhead. Sky looks like it might give me a break and not rain. Parts of it are clear. The darkness has kind of gone away. Although the airplanes are still hovering overhead. You can see a little blue here in her little hideout cave. Yeah, is that cool or what? And uh, we got the food cooking here, which I'm getting ready to flip and then possibly serve. I think we got one that's done. What do you think? Doesn't that look so juicy? Mmm. Nothing like pork butt steak freshly cooked over an open fire out at the compound. This is like some good food here. I could have cooked the, the pork steak. I could have cut it into smaller pieces and put it into the rice cooker and cooked it using the electric um, inverter system with the rice cooker. But it wouldn't taste the same, you know? There's um, a special taste to stuff when you cook it over an open fire. It's got that um, charbroil taste. It really does enhance the flavor. Makes it taste so much better. Okay, we'll let that flip the side over a little. I think one of the steaks is pretty much done. Doesn't that look so good? Looks so good. I know it smells really good. Wood. See if the wood is burnt through. I'll push it in. Ooh, I think I should put the fire out. There, got it to light up. When you see a lot of smoke, that means the fire's burning out. If you blow oxygen into it, it'll light up. Fire needs oxygen. So that's why when you saw me blow, it just lit up just now. All this wood that was in there. Yeah, this is good stuff. This is really good stuff. I am pretty much going to consider that one done. Getting ready to serve it here in a minute. And this one I will um, flip over. Oh, I almost lost it. I don't know if you can tell I'm burning my fingers here. This is hot. We're gonna bring that one out to serve here in just a moment. All right, I pulled out my steak, my finished steak right here, and it's looking perfect. The other one I've got there still cooking a little bit, and it's gonna be done in a few minutes, because it is cooking on high heat. I'll let that cook, and try to come in here and set up a little table here to eat. But yeah, I think the smoke actually chased away the, um, I don't see any more love bugs. No, I lie. <laughs> There's like five or six flying around. So I want to hide inside the vehicle and try to eat so I don't get swarmed by love bugs. All right, here then is my meal. Pretty much all cooked up and ready to eat, ready to serve. That's the extra. That's what I'm going to be eating. And that looks so good. Look how juicy that is. And my rice, which was cooked on the inverter cooking system. I do have some... Um, What's this? Habanero? Is this habanero? No, no, this is um, jalapeno. So jalapeno peppers that I got today from Walmart. And I'm going to be making the um, fish sauce, the pepper sauce with that. I don't have a handy bowl, so I'm just going to put it into this cup. We're going to cut this cup and make a tiny bowl out of it. And then make um, jalapeno pepper dip sauce. So stay tuned. Alright, I was starting to make my uh, food here. 
and I have all the windows open and guess who's coming? Yeah, we're getting a million, um, they're coming again. So I'm gonna have to shut everything down and probably resume this later. I was in the process of making the sauce, but you can see love bugs are getting into the van. I've gotta shut everything down. I was able to get most of them out, but there's still some crawling around. You can see they are swarming the van. It's like, and there's a whole bunch inside. I don't know if you can see them inside the van right now. See, they are inside my van trying to get all over my food. And there's a bunch up front there. Looks like they died from the heat. They came in here to die. They're coming inside my van to die. So anyhow, I gotta get out of here. Um, there's just too many love bugs. Although I'm sealed in, maybe I'll start the car up and run the air. But that might even bring more, because I don't know if they get attracted to the heat. I mean, the, the car's engine exhaust or something. Let me see if I uh, have this on circulation here. I'll turn it on high. At least it's not roasting in here right now. This is becoming an adventure. I don't want to kill those love bugs, but I sure don't want them in my food. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here if I have to hit. I can't see under there. You can see them all congregating there in my corner right there. I don't know if you can see all those spots. Those are all love bugs. They are swarming me. It's like a swarm outside. I am inside fairly safe right now. I don't really feel good about doing a mukbang with love bugs flying all around me. So I am going to go ahead and um, just do a quick taste test right now. And we'll see about doing a mukbang in a different location. Well, I'm not even going to make the pepper sauce right now because of all the love bugs going crazy outside. Alright, I didn't want to leave you guys not having a taste test even though, honestly, <laughs> the love bugs are ruining this meal. <laughs> But I am sealed inside. At least I have cold air conditioning blowing at me right now. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm turn it down a little bit. We're gonna do a quick taste test and we're gonna get the heck out of Dodge. It's too uh, love buggy here in here. Too many bugs. Let me try to cut a piece with my uh, spoon right here. All right, meat looks cooked. I'm gonna take a nice big bite. And then maybe we'll do the mukbang, maybe we won't. Because I do want to get out of here. Food's getting cold from dealing with the love bug situation. Alright. Mmm. I tell you what. Nothing beats the taste of flame broiled meat. If it wasn't but a love bug, I would really enjoy this meal, but the love bugs have kind of ruined my meal. I want to get out of here. So I'm going to head out, but it is good. Is it worth it? Mm, debatable. The love bugs made it um, really difficult to cook this particular meal. It should have been simple. I should have been able to throw it on the grill and cook and enjoy the meal and make my hot sauce, but they are just all over. They are just everywhere. So, am I glad I did it? Yeah. It's nice to have a good meal. Would I do this again knowing that there were love bugs out here? Heck no. This was crazy. Look at them. They're everywhere. Well, until next time, everyone, take care. I hope you're staying safe, and I hope that wherever you are, it isn't love bug season. <laughs> take care now, everyone. Bye-bye now.